Welcome back to another episode of Mondays with Matthew. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Today I want to talk a little bit about how to quit your job and transition into another career or how to quit and start your own business in the current career that you have. Um, not everybody knows. Uh, I actually was a full-time licensed architect for 12 years and then quit pretty much cold turkey and transitioned into real estate eight years ago. And so a lot of people come to me and, and ask, how did you quit? Why did you quit? Um, am I ready to do something like that? What steps can you take to do something like that? Now, I by no means uh, am an expert. I did it once. Um, but it, it actually worked out very successfully. And so um, I think people just wanna have a good conversation about that and see um, you know, what resonates with them and so they can create and formulate their own plan. And so they just are kind of using me to bounce ideas off of. But that's happened twice in the last month and so I thought maybe it's a good idea to film something about that and, and kind of dive into that conversation. So. Um, you know, how did you do it? Well, I created a little bit of a plan. Um, I had some savings, I had the support of my wife, and I just did it. Um, was I scared? Sure. Um, I just pushed past the fear, and I was pretty highly motivated to get out of what I was doing. Um, and so I think the combination of those things really, really helped. Um, but the two conversations with uh, my friends really, you know, was really interesting. And I think that going through some of that will help, um, you know, will help somebody out there that, that might see this. So um, a few of the things that I told them were, you know, they were asking, like, am I ready? Well, one of them has some savings. Um, he already has some contracts written. So he's, this person is actually transi transitioning from um, working for somebody to working on his own in the same field. Um, so he already has some contracts, he has some savings, he has the support of his wife. And so I told him, you know, what else do you need? Um, do you need more savings? What's going to make you feel comfortable? Because there's three different ways you can do this. You can just rip a Band-Aid off, quit, not necessarily have a plan, and just try to try your hardest to make it work. And sometimes that works for people. Um, the second way, and probably a little bit safer or more comforting way, is to have some savings. You wanna save you know, at least three, four, five months of um, what it would cost at a bare minimum to, minimum to cover your bills and you probably want to pull back on unnecessary expenses while you're making this transition. Um, you know, some people are going to want six to eight months of, of salary and, and it also depends on what you're going to be do doing and how quickly you can make money in that new thing. So sometimes if you're switching from one career to something completely different, it might be a while for you to... Um, to be able to make, make some money or replenish that, that savings. Um, and so you may need more like 12 months savings. So create that plan to where you feel comfortable and confident to be able to do that. Um, and uh, one of the ways that I did that is I was in architecture and I got a few architectural side jobs. So while I was studying and, and actually working in real estate, I was also doing some uh, small architectural projects just to have some money, keep my confidence, um, and 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 just to kind of bridge that gap, really from probably more of an emotional level than than an actual money need level because I did have some savings set aside, but I didn't want to touch it. That it was kind of the principle behind it. That was like my band aid, but I didn't want to touch the band aid. Um, so friend number two, he found himself in, uh, you know, just in a position where um, the company he was working for was not doing very good and they had to let some people go. And, um, you know, he was thinking about how do I, you know, I'm almost 40 and what do I want to do for the, for the remainder of my career life? And is it really what I've been doing? You know, should I go a different direction? So he was just taking some time to soul search. Um, and I think in, in that position too, you don't want to overcomplicate it. 
Um, and not everybody has the support of a spouse or, or friends or family. And so you have to, you have to find that power and strength within. Um, you, you know in your gut what's right. And, and then the big thing is being able to push past the fear to create something new and create something big for yourself. And I think we underestimate how much we can get done in five years, but we overestimate how much we can get in, in, done in a year. And, you know, I think you, there's, there's a nice medium in between there, you know, maybe you have to think about what you can get done over two years. And that's hard for us. We do so much in one day um, that by the time 30 days goes by, we don't know what we did for the past 30 days because there's so many things going on. So it's hard to really look at a year or two years or five years and really make a plan and then shrink it down into smaller goals. I know it's not, um, it's not easy, but if you make it simple, it's never going to be easy, but if you make it simple and create a three-step plan or a four-step plan, not like a thousand-step plan, I think you can execute on that. Um, and, and, you know, the big thing is just, is just having, having the confidence having some savings, having a little bit of a cushion. That, those are, you know, getting some contracts or getting some work started in the new arena. Um, and, you know, I think those are, are the keys. And then also knowing that you're good at what you do now and, and the worst case scenario, you can go back to that. Um, when I was in architecture, it wasn't so bad that I couldn't go back to it, right? It wasn't what I wanted to continue to do. Um, but to, in order to feed my family and in order to, um, you know, keep life fairly comfortable and, and, and not have a lot of financial discomfort, you could go back to that career. There were people in architecture that would hire me probably even still today. And so it's nice to have that confidence. And I think you have to build that case, you know, from a mental and an emotional level, and then that will help you leap into the fear and swim past it. If you have any questions around this, or if anything today I said just wasn't quite clear, or if you're thinking about making a transition, maybe you're thinking about making a transition to real estate, feel free to reach out. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I have done it and I did it successfully. And I think it's just fun to have good high level conversations with people. And I'm always here to help. So I hope you have a fantastic week. Take care.